good morning students welcome to your english class students you must have noticed that everything around us has some or the other name your father mother you yourself your dog your street hospital park everyone has a name so today we are going to learn about nouns all naming words are noun nouns are naming words so students have you understood what are nouns they are naming words so students as i have explained you that everything has a name so let us read all together everything around us has a name so nouns are the names of persons places animals and things so students are you all able to see the pictures below to it in persons we have mother and a child and in the places we have a picture of a castle and in animals we have n number of animals on the screen and in things it comprises of computer table lamp and many other things so we can see that everything has names and we will study about these in detail now so students there are so many people around us and all of them have names now let us see who all are there in the picture boy teacher woman farmer so all these are the names of persons or people around us students same way we go to different places and now let's see that which all places do we go and do they have a name yes they also have a name so let us look at the first picture it is a picture of a park and the next picture is of a hospital next we have church and office now students as we have named even animals also have names so let's check out that what are they called in the first picture we can see a dog second picture cat third picture cow and fourth picture is of a tiger so students did you notice that animals also have names and again i would like to tell you that all these naming words are noun what are they noun i hope it is getting clear to you all as we are moving further students now as you can see on the screen that different things are there and yes things also have names now let's see in the first picture we can see a ball and does it has a name yes this thing is called as ball and the next thing is known as pencil and the next picture we can see a chair and the last picture is of a hat so did you notice that all these things have different names too let us name these pictures first picture is of a lion second picture is of a chef and who's the chef chef is the one who cooks in big hotels they cook food for us third picture is of a cup 
And fourth one is a house. Very good. Now students, let us do this exercise together. So we have to identify the nouns in these exercise. So let us look at the first sentence. The cow lives in a shed. Now here cow is a name of an animal. So it is a noun. And it lives in a shed. So it is a name of a place. Now let us look at the second sentence. The dress has pretty flowers. In this, the word dress is a name of a thing and flowers is also a name of a thing. So students, as the meaning of the word noun is clear to us, let us do our copy work now. All of you take out your notebook and write today's date and classwork. Now students, what you have to do in this first question is underline the noun in the given sentences. So you have to write these sentences in your notebook and you have to underline the name of nouns. Alright, wherever you are able to find noun, underline them and do it. Now students, in your question 2, you have to choose the correct names of places. Now, wherever you are finding that this is the right place to come, so you have to write that name of place in the blank. Okay, so you have to copy all these sentences and do your work very neatly. Thank you. Bye-bye.